everybody, welcome back. You know my next guest from Arrested Development, Bojack Horseman and Lady Dynamite. She is one of my favorite comedians in the world. Please welcome the very funny Maria Bamford. Come on, let's go down. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, Maria, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I would shake your hand, oh, but yes, you know, all that stuff. Bump. There you go. All right. Boom. Yeah. This is where the audience would be if we had an audience tonight. Well, that's up okay. here. I'm, I'm used to this kind of audience. Welcome this to draw. The <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much for having yeah. me. You know, up here, this is this is up here is where the girls were screaming for the Beatles Ooh. back in the day. Yeah, this is it. Ah, it feels right. It feels right. <laughs> um, I'm so glad you're here. You know, I, I you know that I'm a huge fan. Thank you very by much. That. You thank know, you. you I, when I'm feeling anxious, I listen to you Aww. to hear you talk about your anxieties. Yes. And a lot of people are anxious about the coronavirus. How are you dealing with it? Well, I, the one thing I was worried about was my, my, my mom actually has a pulmonary condition, and uh, she said, oh, honey, we're still traveling. We're going out to California, and we're going to go see the poppies. <laughs> and listen, I've had a good run. I just want to be around long enough so that I can be there when my pillows come in from Crate and Barrel. <laughs> Anyways. She said, my That's mom it. has a good attitude uh, yeah, towards uh, life and death. Uh, is, yeah. Uh, but it, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm excited. I want to wash my hands uh, yeah. because I do, I do love everyone. I'm willing to wear a mask as long as it comes with a bear costume. I would like to have an entire bear costume to come with it. Uh, your sister is a forensic pathologist, isn't she? Yes. She, well, <laughs> oh boy. This, uh, she's now a shaman. Uh, she's a shaman past, now? Yeah, no, she, she's a very spiritual person. Um, I, of course, am an atheist, but that doesn't mean I'm not ethically competitive. Uh, my husband and I, we found out that most religions are supposed to give 10% of your income away, yeah. so we're giving 11. We don't even believe in heaven, but we're going! <laughs> are you dealing, are you, how are you dealing with like the instructions, like don't touch your face or? Uh, I, yeah, I just um. Or do you normally touch your face I a lot? I do of... love to touch my face, weirdly enough. And I mean, yeah, Los Angeles sort of. So I, I guess you do kind of have a lot of time in the car to uh, touch why? your face. Yeah. Because you're in the car <laughs> no. so much. I would. I think so. There isn't a yeah. lot of social interaction uh, in Los Angeles anyway, so the social distancing doesn't seem to affect me. That I mean, I'm always kind of like, hey, is this really necessary mm -hmm. uh, most of the time <laughs> with mm -hmm. all my loved ones. Do you, so, think, do you think people should still date during this? Certainly. Yes? Yes. The romantic and sexual tension that can build over time uh, that you can't touch each other, what is it, what is 36 hours or even just eight hours? Yeah. Uh, that's very sexy. I think I, th I think we have to wait till the entire thing's over before we touch each other. I think oh, we have no, to wait okay, weeks. Okay, it could okay, be like five we, or six weeks. Well, before even we... even that. I mean, there's. Yeah. I had a, a fundamentalist Christian roommate in uh, college, and she said one thing that she would do to prevent herself from getting too hot and heavy with her boyfriend is they would uh, get on their knees and pray to make the feelings go away. And I said, Oh my God, that is the hottest thing I have ever heard <laughs> in my life. So uh, sure. yeah, definitely. It's very intimate. It's very intimate. <laughs> So yeah, uh, get on your knees and uh, uh, pray to make it go away for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, you build up the excitement mm -hmm. over time. I, I, I think it might be a very uh, essential experience for all of America. You, um, besides being a comedian, I understand you also, you were on a reality show? Yes. A cooking show? Yes. I love cooking shows. I was... Are you a good cook? Mm, the show is called Worst Cook Celebrity Edition, a who's who of who? And uh, I, uh, I don't have a lot of energy. I'm on a, a lot of antipsychotics, and so I. And that takes the, uh, that saps the energy. It saps the energy. Um, I, don't know, I don't have as many uh, great ideas all at once, but um, yeah. So I I was on the same team with Latoya Jackson. Um, Latoya, okay. she's 65. She looks 12. I said, How are you? How are you? The 18-hour days. I said, How are you doing this? She said, It's all in your mind. Oh my God. You're gonna win. She does. You're not gonna watch it. And um, so good. It hasn't been broadcast yet. Oh yes, it's been. Yeah. Like, of course, it's been broadcast. I don't it was, know. I don't they know. were almost, yeah, uh, just throwing it into the ether as it was being made. Um, Shouting it into a can <laughs> of Altoids. 
<laughs> and throwing it off an overpass. Is this something? Um, <laughs> so, so what did you make? Like, what did you cook? Well, I, I made um, a pineapple upside down cake. Okay. Um, I made the pineapples, Latoya, hand them my pineapples to Latoya. She said, they're uneven, do it again. Latoya, no, this doesn't matter. And um, I, I did not redo the pineapple slices, but I did say directly into camera while smashing garlic, my favorite Teddy Roosevelt quote. Which is? It is not the critic who counts. It is the man who is in the arena! <laughs> Marred by blood and sweat and tears, which the Food Network then re-edited to. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but yeah, I, I, not proud of this third day and I couldn't, couldn't make it any. The uh, third day of shooting? The third day of shooting. How many days were you supposed to shoot? Uh, it could have gone on for weeks uh, had I wanted to compete. Um, it is, you knew it was a competition before you went in, <laughs> oh, right? Oh, yes, oh, I know, I know. And it would have made more, yeah. Uh, it, did I mention I was doing it for charity? Oh, no. no. Is it for charity? Yes. What's the charity? Well, it was the, for me, it was for the National Alliance for Mental Illness, which I know they would have said, girl, you're on Seroquel, go home. Um, <laughs> But uh, I did, and I ended up just saying to one of the PAs, hey, um, we're both power, powerless. Um, I'm gonna do whatever you need to do. You can drag me down. You can uh, try to tackle me from behind, but I've already called a lift. Uh, I've been fired so many times before. The only backlash I've ever received has been an enormous rush of relief. I'm, I'm gonna start running. She did some beautiful kabuki theater of, no, Miss Bamford, please don't, uh, that I very much appreciated. And then no one was fried because nobody cared. And uh, uh, yeah, so uh -huh. it was a good, a good run. That's great. Yeah. So, and then Latoya, your partner, went on to. Oh, she, yeah, she won. She won the whole thing. Because wow. she has the best attitude. Um, I am. I am uh, ma uh, naturally, sl or not so naturally, sleepy. Let's talk about the new show. Yeah. What's your ailment? What's your ailment? What is the purpose of this show? Tell me the, uh, the, the organizing principle. Well, the organizing principle is to uh, create something so that people don't feel as alone uh, in asking for mental health care, and also to acknowledge that it's often very poor, uh, some of the mental health care you can get, and have some laughs about it. And but how bad sometimes mental health care? Sometimes it can be, oh, my God, so terrible. Uh, have you ever gone to a free clinic? Uh, free clinic? Not for mental health. Okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, sometimes uh, they, the people are master's students who are going, uh, just beginning therapy. So sometimes they're overwhelmed okay. by your, your uh, experiences I went to. I've one. been to like a barber school, so I know the experience. Yeah, yeah, like, what are we gonna do? Um, I'll be fine, are you gonna be okay? Um, so, and also, yeah, I did, had an online therapist for a while, I because I What's travel online a lot. Therapist? That's uh, BetterHelp.com, those uh, type of mm -hmm. organizations. And, and it's just like over text you can, or something? Over text, you can do video. Um, <laughs> my therapist just texted me, Christine, of course you're stressed, you just had a baby. And it was helpful, it was really. She thought you were. Well, I mean, am I Christine or am I the baby? And, uh, and really, what you know? What, what am I worried about? Think about Christine, and her new infant. Um, anyways, there's so many ways. She's given me so much to work with and be curious about. Sure. <laughs> if I was on your show, like, what would like? Could we pretend like now? I'm oh on your yes, show? Uh, yes, of course. Introduce me, and I'll be uh, on your show right hello, now. Hello, this is Stephen. Uh, this is Marie Bamford with Stephen Colbert. Uh, thank you for being on the program. Uh, real, a pleasure. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. Stephen, what is the worst mental health care you have ever received, in or out of clinical settings? Uh, uh, I've 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 been in therapy mm -hmm. a few times. Mm -hmm. I uh, I had a therapist once who would end every session with the phrase, I'm aware of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Which was his way of saying, get out. Pop, 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 pop. Got to turn tables, Friday, move them out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Making money on food you're, and beds. You're, you're a one top. I got a four <laughs> top in, coming in here, a family in here, big tippers, because they're super angry. Uh, yeah, I had that guy. And that meant that it was time for him to check also. Oh, right. I'm aware of the time. <laughs> and I always want to say, I, I am too. No. I, yes. Yes, I studied time as a child. Is there anything else you want to say to me? Like anything, do you have any no. feed? There was, he was totally non-directional. Oh. 
Well, it wasn't even like the follow that feeling. Oh, there was a lot of this. Mmm. Mmm. A lot of, like he was just tasting the pudding. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That was it. Well, that's that was some, it. That's An hour later, food. I'm aware of the time. <laughs> I'm aware of the time. Um, Maria, I'm aware of the time. Yeah! What's Your Ailment is streaming now on Topic. Maria Bamford, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh.